hey loves welcome back again to another tutorial so today's video is the cutting of this beautiful style as you can see at the side so if this is what you want to learn don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and also turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i post a new video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back and also thank you to my new subscribers so let's get into it <music> welcome back again so mate so guys these are the materials that i'll be using for today's tutorial so here with me is my african print i have six yards here but i'll be making use of two yards so i also have this black lining i have one yard but instead of one yard i will advise you to make use of one and a half to two yards then i have this white lining which i'm going to be using for the net aspect so i'm going to use it to line up the net parts and this is my net so i have nine yards of this net so if you want it to be more fuller than mine i will advise you to make use of 12 yards so let's get into the drafting process so these are my drafting materials so the first thing to do now is to mark out the starting line so on that starting line i'm going to place my shoulder measurement divided by two so go ahead and place yours i'm not going to add half inch to that because this is a sleeveless dress so this is a sleeveless dress it's not going to have a sleeve so on that point i'm going to mark half inch for my shoulder slope so go ahead and mark half inch so from that half inch i'm going to place my tape like this on that half inch i'm going to come down by 7.5 which is my ham hole length so calculate yours which is your bust measurement divided by 6 plus 1.5 so placing it on the actual line i came down by my boss point which is 10 inches the under boss is not going to be needed then i came down by 17 inches which is my half length so i'm going to connect all the points together like this so this dress is not going to have a bustier so i went ahead to label out the lines so coming to the neck width i'm going to make use of three inches then for the neck depth i came down by 3.5 inches so this is like a high neckline you can see from the picture it has a high neckline so i'm making use of 3.5 because i don't want it to be too tight on me so the next thing to do is to come down by 1.25 because i'm going to use the same pattern to cut out the back pattern so this is going to be the neck line for the back so i just connected it like this then i'm going to connect my shoulder slope as you can see so after that i went ahead to connect my ham hole length but before that this is what i do go ahead and place your shoulder measurement by two on the chest line then i'm going to just connect this so this will help you to have like a straight line on the ham hole part so on the chest line I'm going to place my boss divided by 4 on this part. So go ahead and divide yours. Divide your boss by 4 and place it there. So coming to the ham hole part, I'm going to divide what I have there and get the midpoint. So from the midpoint, go in by half inch as you see me doing. Then I'm going to connect my shoulder slope this way. So you can make use of your free hand in doing this. Whatsoever you have at the chest line. Go ahead and place it on the bust point like this so coming to the waistline guys divide your waist measurement by four as you see what i'm doing so mine is eight i place it there plus one inch for that intake so then go ahead and connect all the points together like this so after connecting it guys i went ahead to divide my nipple to nipple which is seven so after dividing i got 3.5 then I'm going to just place it there for my that understand. So I hope you understand. So just connect the lines like this. So I'm going to mark half inch at the both side of the line. Then on the boss points, come down by half inch. Then you're going to connect your that line like this. So just go ahead and connect the that legs this way. So after connecting, I'm going to just cut this out.
so remember i'm going to use this pattern for the back so go ahead and cut out the back neckline first okay so after cutting this is what we have so let's keep it aside and cut out the skirt part so the first thing to do now again is to rule out the starting line okay so from that starting line i'm going to come down by 8.25 which is my hip length so that starting line is the waistline okay so i'm going to connect it this way so after that on that hip line i'm going to still come down by six inches so this is the length of the ankara skirts you understand so this is how long the ankara part is going to be so after connecting it guys coming to the waistline i divided my waist by four then i marked one inch for that okay so then i placed my boss pan which is 3.5 so for the dart length is going to be four inches so that is how long i want the dart to be okay so after doing that go ahead and mark out half inch at both sides of the line then you connect your dart legs like this so after doing this guys the next thing is to divide your hip measurement by four place it there now i'm going to add extra half inch to this because the hip area is not going to be tight so at the length of the skirt i'm going to mark my hip measurements divided by four then i'm going to add one inch so this is going to give us like an a-line skirt sort of understand so it's going to give us like an a-line skirt so i'm going to just connect this from the waistline to the hip line like this so this is what we have for the skirt part of the ankara aspects so now i'm going to place my boss pan 3.5 on these lines then i'm going to just connect it so this will serve as a guide for us so after doing that from the center front go in by one inch just go in by one inch so from the hip line at the dart area go down by one inch so i'm going to measure what i have from that one inch i went in to the dart leg so whatsoever you have place it on this other part you can see what i'm doing so if you don't understand please you can actually replay this part again so from that one inch now i went in by one inch again so at the side also i'm going to come down by one inch from the hip line so after that i'm going to just connect all these points together so like i said earlier if you are confused on this part please go ahead and replay this that is why it is called a video okay so i'm just going to mark it this way you can see the way i'm placing my pattern master so go ahead and place yours so when you do this you are going to have something like a semi curve sort of so you can see what we have you can see the curve right there so now i'm going to connect from this one point again to the side still placing my pattern master this way so this is going to give us like a half semi curve i don't know what to call this but it's just like a half curve okay so this is it guys i'm going to add all my stitching allowance at the bottom parts so you can actually do this on your main fabric when cutting it out on your main fabric but i think this part is going to be the easiest you understand so just go ahead and add your stitching allowance on the curve area as you see me doing like this just follow the way i'm doing it so on this part is where you are going to be cutting out from so coming to the waistline i went down by half inch so we all know that the front skirt parts at the waist is not straight so we are just going to curve it or slant it this way okay so after doing that go ahead and cut this so when you are cutting it you cut it on the allowance you left at that curvy part you understand so you are cutting through on the allowance area so after cutting it guys this is what we have so i'm going to cut out this excess parts at this area 
so this is it guys this is what we have so i'm going to use this to cut out the back part okay so don't cut out that slant area so i'm going to add my stitching allowance at the top part remember we added our stitching allowance at the bottom part of the skirt so this is what the both pieces of the top and the skirt part is looking like so let's go ahead and cut it on our fabric so like i said earlier this is the ankara i'm using for this tutorial so go ahead and fold it into two so i'm going to start with the back piece then i went ahead to mark out my zip allowance of two inches so after that i'm going to just connect the points together like this to give me my zip line so on that zip line i'm going to place the basic body that is the top part on that line like this so you can see what i'm doing and i'm going to hold this down with my phone so now i'm going to add my stitching allowance of half inch at the bottom part as you see what i'm doing so after doing this the next thing to do now is to add your stitching allowance of 1.5 inches at the side okay because i'm going to actually turn this with my lining so i'm going to add 1.5 inches stitching allowance but you can also add two inches to be at a safer side so at the hammo area don't add any allowance on that part so at the top you are going to add half inch okay so you can see what i'm doing just add half inch so also coming to the neckline i'm also going to add my half inch stitching allowance all the way like this so just go ahead and add yours So after doing this the next thing is to just cut this out so this is just like a basic body so we all know how to draft out a basic body okay so this is for those people that don't know how to draft out a basic body and doesn't know how to cut it on their fabric so on this zip area i'm going to just notch it to indicate that this is the zip area okay so after doing that i'm going to open up this zip part so this is what the back is looking like okay so now let's go ahead and cut out for the front that is the front upper body so this is it now i'm going to cut out the neckline for the front so this is the easiest way of doing this you can actually use just one pattern to cut out for front and the back the only difference between the front and the back is the zip allowance so for the front part i'm going to place it on the folded edge of the fabric like this that is the center front then add all your necessary stitching allowance so i don't want this part to be too long that is why i have to fast forward it you all know how to add your stitching allowance to your patterns so just go ahead and add it on the neck area the top at the bottom and also at the side so the side is 1.5 inches i used at the side for the seam allowance so i'm just going to cut it out like this so after cutting this out this is what the front is looking like you can see what the front is looking like so let's keep this aside and we are going to cut out the skirt parts so for the skirt parts i'm going to use the pattern to cut out for the back so this is the back i'm actually marking out the zip allowance of two inches so after that i went ahead to place the pattern on the zip line like this then at the top i'm going to add half inch so remember at the bottom we've added our stitching allowance already so at the side now i'm going to add 1.5 inches stitching allowance like so so just go ahead and add all your allowance at that part so after doing that i'm going to go ahead and cut this out so remember to hold that bottom part with your pin so that it doesn't move 
So I'm going to just cut it out like this. So after cutting it out and I remove the pin, this is what the back is looking like. So I'm going to open up the zip allowance area. And this is the back, guys. So let's go ahead and cut out the front. So for the front, I'm going to cut out this slanted part at the waist area. So remember, the front is not going to have a zip allowance. It's not going to have zip allowance. So I'm going to just place the center front right on the folded part of the fabric okay then i'm going to do the same thing add my stitching allowance at the side like the way we did for the back then also at the waist area half inch all the way okay so just cut it out so this is very easy you can see it's very easy so after cutting guys this is what we have for the front so this is it for the front. So this center front, I'm going to just notch that part. So it's always good for you to just indicate the center front, okay? Just notch it a bit. So this is what the waistline is looking like. And these are the curves at the bottom part. So let's cut out the net part. So for the net part, like I said earlier, I have 9 yards of this net, okay? So if you want it more fuller, you can make use of 12 yards. So I'm going to fold it up like this. So just open up the whole of the 9 yards. And I'm going to pick the tip. And I'm going to start folding it up like this. You can see what I'm doing. Is either you fold it or you gather it up. I don't know what you call it. Just gather or fold it up just like this. So I'm not comfortable where I'm sitting. So I just want to get a place where it's comfortable for me to do this because this is going to actually take a lot of time to gather okay so guys this is me sitting on the floor and i'm gathering it up so this is it guys so after gathering it up this is what i have so this is the whole of the nine yards you can see what i have here so i'm going to fold this into two so just fold it into two like this. So after folding it into two, I'm going to just cut it. And I'm going to cut it like this. So when I divided it into two, this is what I have. This is one of the pieces and this is the second piece of it. You can see. So this one is going to serve as the front piece and the other as the back piece. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and run my gather stitch so if you choose you can make use of your sewing machine for the gathers but i'm going to make use of my needle and thread i think that is faster i don't know so i'm going to run my gather stitches so guys this is the end of the cutting of this tutorial so i'll see you in the sewing part bye